Hello, my name is Diane and I am a docent at the Oliver Ellsworth Homestead. Did you know that George Washington visited Connecticut several times? I'd like to tell you about his visits and in particular, his visit to the homestead. The first time that Washington had visited Connecticut was in 1756. At the time he was an ambitious young colonel headed to Boston for a military mission. The next time was in 1780 when he made a secret journey from his New Jersey headquarters to meet with the Patriots' new allies, the French. Then, in May of 1781, General Washington stayed for five nights at the Joseph Webb House in Wethersfield. It was here that he planned the Yorktown campaign with the Comte de Rochambeau. The campaign resulted with the surrender of the British Army in October of 1781. While General Washington was in Wethersfield, he attended a concert at the Wethersfield First Congregational Church with Governor Jonathan Trumbull and Jeremiah Wadsworth in attendance. George Washington was inaugurated as the first president on April 30, 1789. Oliver Ellsworth was given the honor to administer the oath of office to General Washington. In the fall of 1789, President Washington embarked on a tour of the newly formed states of New England. On Tuesday, October 20th, he left New Haven and traveled through Wallingford to Hartford. Here he met with Colonel Jeremiah Wadsworth, a congressman from Connecticut, and Colonel Jesse Rue, along with Senator Ellsworth. Washington's diary records that on his tour of New England, he stopped at the Ellsworth's home. October 21st, 1789, by promise, I was to have breakfast with Mr. Ellsworth in Windsor on my way to Springfield, but the morning proved very wet and the rain not ceasing until 10 o'clock. I did not set out till half after that hour. I called, however, and stayed an hour. Washington probably intended just a brief social call, but he remained for about an hour because of the rain which he wanted to avoid while on the road. He doesn't report what his mode of transportation was, but we can presume that he was riding a horse if rainy weather deterred him from leaving Elmwood. I hope you will consider visiting the homestead when we are open and trace the footsteps of our first president, as well as one of Windsor's most prominent citizens.